Good morning guys, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing fantastic. It is deadlift day. The best day in the whole week. I believe I am going for today 160 kilograms for five sets of five reps. Of course, I am still on this road to a 300 kilogram deadlift. I think that's 661 pounds, something like that. When it will happen, I don't know. I'm just working my way towards getting my old strength back and you're seeing it week by week how my body reacts and at the end of this 16 week program that I'm on, hopefully I'll be in around 240 kilogram to 260 kilogram range and from there I can you know build a program for the next 16 weeks or 24 weeks or something like that. Go, go on a deadlift gospel, deadlift program that Hafthor used to get to the 501 kilogram deadlift and Hopefully that will get me to the 300. Of course, 300 might not sound like a whole lot for some people, but to me it's like real big. My personal best is 260 kilograms, killed my back doing it, had to rehab for like a year. Then when I was just getting back into my old strength, financial trouble, had to take a step back, and, but now I'm back, I have a, my wallet is in a little bit better place. <laughs> I've fully paid my car loan, I've fully paid my credit card, I'm done with most of these small loan companies. Just a little bit left that I owe the, owe the bank itself, but you know, I finally get paid every month and I have that money to use instead of it all going towards bills. And you know, I'm just saving up. The only thing I'm spurging on is gym equipment basically. And I'm just, and then I'm just saving up. Yeah, that's a little insight into my what's going on with the wallet. <laughs> So a couple of new things in the gym, guys. Of course, I got my first medallion here for the Highland Games, silver. <laughs> um, but I have a few new gym equipment. So I painted this storage area white. It used to be like a yellow, and there was supposed to was this had some like old plastic tiles on it that looked terrible. Just painted it all white, and I think it looks a lot better. And then. A couple of new bumper plates that I put on the inner side of the barbell while I'm deadlifting, so... Got a mirror, a, a few more black rubber mats, just have this part of the floor now. Really happy with this guys, love my gym, it's all, all getting better. Up, keep it, everything tight under pressure, and then the other thing, it just feels like the blood pressure in my head is just about to make my head explode. Warm ups felt fine. Just I look at the I, I look at the lifts on the video and the feel they look a lot faster than they felt. It's weird. I guess I'm just not used to heavy weight again or something. Uh, let's go for 160 for five reps. I'm gonna use straps because I don't have any chalk and. Uh, Barbell is pretty slippery and not a lot of knurling, so yeah. Expecting a lot more grind, but that was 165 reps. The four sets to go. Man, feels good, man. This is why I love this, guys. Making progress. 
doing something this week like that I could have not done last week. It's, it's just a euphoric, surging feeling of awesomeness. Subscribe. <laughs> There's such a problem with setting the height of the camera, making sure the barbell and everything's in frame. Notice the last shot was not in good frame. Damn it. Step number three, let's go. Everything is beltless, of course. Trying to build that core strength. It's a bed of day that I have the most worried about. Bench, don't gotta worry about it. Overhead press, don't gotta worry about it. Squats, don't gotta worry about it. Deadlifts, yeah, those tend to make a lot of noise. But third set felt good. Two more sets to go. Let's fucking go. Fourth set. December 2019 I did 190 kilograms for what like two or three sets of eight reps but plus yeah like I'm doing now I just know that a couple of months ago 120 kilograms were pretty heavy you know I could not have done this no way so being on this program starting week five right now and I can definitely feel the progress and improvements Eating a lot of tomatoes, <laughs> one tomato each day. <laughs> That's what it is. That's how I'm gaining strength. This makes me feel alive. This is what makes me so happy. I feel like I'm making a bit, bit more of a deal of it this 
than it is, but whatever. I feel good. I feel euphoric. I feel positive. I feel awesome. <sighs> so guys, just finished with some calves. Three sets of 15 reps. And yeah, as I said before, I just feel awesome. I obviously have a long way until I'll get to 300, but it will rise up within the year. I guarantee that. A year from this day. <laughs> uh, last night I listened to the podcast with uh, Lauren Shawley interviewing Travis Ordemeyer. What a story. What, wow, I was just in awe the whole time I was listening. I actually took a bath, put the laptop on my toilet and listened while I was in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened after the, he just suddenly disappeared from the strongman scene in like 2012. You know, what happened to now he's back to strongman. You know, I, I really encourage you to listen to it and follow him on Instagram and give him some love because I really want to see him competing again. Travis Ordmeyer. You got yourself a new fan here. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, check that out. I really recommend it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate. Uh, I really appreciate all your support and all your, all your love. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, comment, whatever you want to comment. I will reply to you. That's a promise. Live long and prosper. I'll see you guys next time with a with a smile on my face. <laughs> see you guys later.